What is a character sketch? It's the description of a real person or a character in a book. What do we include in a character sketch? Thoughts. That's what my character thinks. Describing what my character thinks will make the person more interesting. Talk. That's what my character says. Describing what my character says makes the person seem real. Actions. That's what my character does. My character's actions will tell a lot about his or her personality. The actions could be adventuresome, like an astronaut, or thoughtful, like an author. Entertainment. People are so interesting. Characters can be quiet or adventuresome, heroes or villains. They make good decisions or bad ones. Exploring the world of people, real and imaginary, is fascinating. Why write a character sketch? Information. Biographers write character sketches to help us get to know the people they are writing about. Reporters may write character sketches of people in a community. You can write a character sketch about an interesting person to share with others. Understanding. No two people are exactly the same. Writing about real people and characters in books can help us understand others. We can recognize what we have in common. We can appreciate our differences. What makes a good character sketch? Information and organization. The sketch focuses on one character. It is well organized according to the character's looks, actions, words, and thoughts. Audience and voice is also very important. The sketch contains words that help the reader see the character. Content and ideas. The sketch includes specific details about one character. Word choice and clarity. Ideas are expressed with interesting phrases. Sentence fluency. The sketch has a repeated sentence pattern to emphasize a point. Grammar and mechanics. Spelling, punctuation and capitalization are correct. There are no run-on sentences. How do we write a character sketch? A character sketch should begin with an introductory paragraph. This paragraph should introduce the novel or short story, author, character and some background information about the character. This paragraph should end with a thesis statement, a statement that states your position about the character and structures the rest of your paper. The second, third and fourth paragraphs should focus on the character traits in the order in which they were mentioned in the thesis statement. Use examples to support and explain that the character demonstrates the traits you mentioned in the thesis. In general, remember to follow the format for paragraph writing that we have been working on. Begin with an introductory statement or topic sentence. Follow this with the body of the paragraph. These sentences should expand upon the topic sentence. Finish the paragraph with a concluding statement that sums up the paragraph without simply restating the topic sentence. Bear in mind that each paragraph should focus on one main idea. There are many different ways to publish your writing. You can illustrate your character sketch, hold a story exchange reading session with your classmates, read to younger students, make your sketch into a play by adding dialogue, enjoy your writing. <laughs>